Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my latest video, which is a cleaning motivation, get things done with me kind of video. The kitchen needed a proper clean and I thought since it's February, it's the perfect time to give it a deep clean. Hopefully the weather inshallah will start to improve and a bit of a spring clean even though we're not really in spring. So it was our grocery weekly grocery day anyway when we go and do our weekly groceries. So we popped to Aldi and Asda. They've got lots of fun toys and calendars and stuff for Ramadan in Asda. I've shown you in the past few videos as well. These uh, dolls look really, really cute. They're a little bit pricey, I won't lie, but they do look like good quality. So I think they're worth it. I haven't actually picked up any of the Ramadan calendars yet. I'll see if I feel like it. And that was the halal meat counter that we normally go to in uh, Asda. So once we've done all the shopping, bought it at home and just put it out on the table. I put the flowers, I got some flowers. I put them in a vase just till Later on at night, because I planned to clean the whole kitchen and I wanted to just put them on the table at the end of the day, just as a lovely finishing touch. So first of all, I was putting the stuff away in the fridge and the freezer. I did plan to clean out the fridge. So I was just putting them away temporarily while I had some lunch and got on with a few other things. So yeah, I was just filling up my kettle for a cup of tea, actually for the coffee, because I thought if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to clean this kitchen, I need some fuel. As I was waiting for my kettle to boil, I put a bit of the shopping away, multitasking, you know, that's one thing us mums are pretty good at, mashallah. Or we have to get good at it, <laughs> whether we like to or not. So for lunch, I had some peanut butter on toast with some banana slices. I like to have this lunch when I'm busy because it's quick and easy and it's got some wonderful ingredients which keep you full and give you that energy boost that you need. So I took out 10 minutes to have my lunch. The kids were around still, none of them were sleeping. And uh, yeah, I just enjoyed my lunch before I got on with everything else. So once I'd had my lunch, I cleared the sink area, so I washed the dishes. Got rid of any packaging and rubbish. And then it was time to pray actually, a Zohar prayer, which is yeah, afternoon prayer. So um, yeah, I did my prayers and then I decided to clean the back. This area has not been looked at all through winter really. I don't even think we've opened the back door more than once. If anything, it's been Akil, my husband, who's opened the back door to put some rubbish out or something. But the kids hadn't been out in the garden for ages. So they were happy to play out for a bit, but it was still quite cold. But anyway, I gave the doors a lovely wipe clean. So anyway, I wanted to mention the music or not really music that I add to my videos. I'm not sure if some of you like it, but it might be boring or whatever you think of it. But um, the reason I put the same music or this particular music, I keep calling it music, but it's actually not music. This brother, he's called Ramzan Days and he's a Nasheed artist. So Nasheed is like Islamic sounds or Islamic music again. He makes sounds with his mouth. He doesn't actually use any music or instruments because of my audience. Um, you know, I don't want to put any music on my videos. I'm not saying I never will because no one's perfect and we all have our weaknesses. And to be honest, sometimes the video is just not as fun to watch without music. For the sake of my audience and uh, for religious reasons, I use these nasheeds and may Allah reward this brother Ramzan days for his efforts in providing non-instrumental, like vocal nasheeds that he provides for people like me to use on my videos. So if you know of any others, do let me know you can email me or 
put it in the comments, although I might not read it. I've also had a look at nature sounds, but when I put them on the video, you can barely hear them. So it's a bit of a conundrum. But anyway, for now, I'm going to stick to these nasheeds just because it's easier for me. And I feel like it's in accordance with the religion, even though some people will still say that it's not right. But you can't please everyone. As long as I feel like I'm pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I'm good. But anyway, that was so off topic, but I just feel like it's something I needed to mention in case any of you were wondering. So I don't think I've done a real deep clean of the kitchen for probably about six months. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it, with the seven kids, mashallah. You know, the cooking is prioritised, looking after them. Sometimes you just have to take out that day to do the big jobs. I can't promise myself when I'm next going to do it. But inshallah, I always do tell myself I'm going to keep on top of it. Maybe I will now. Who knows? We can live in hope, right, guys? But the end result is so worth it, isn't it? When it's all clean and fresh. That's what I live for. When it gets too much and I'm tired and like when I emptied out all the fridge and everything was on the table, I was like, do I want to do this anymore? But it had to be done. I couldn't just leave all the fridge stuff on the table. After I'd cleaned the fridge out, it was time for Asr prayer. So I prayed my Asr and then had to think about sorting out dinner. So dinner for that night was uh, a pilau, a chicken and potato pilau. I like making this on days that I'm busy again because it's a one pan, one pot dish. But yeah, you don't have to uh, fuss about too much. So I'm peeling some onions. Obviously, every day of mine is not this busy. I'm not just cooking and cleaning all the time. If I was, my kitchen wouldn't be in the state that it's in. But the way I do things, I like to go all or nothing sometimes. So have a day of intense cleaning and then I reward myself with some time off or a few hours off here and there to do things for myself. Because that's really, really important as well. Self-care is truly important. Your health suffers if you don't look after yourself. So if your health suffers, then how can you do anything else of use? You can't really, can you? Got the tomatoes, the onions in the pan with some oil. I've added some garlic and ginger paste, salt and spices. I've shared this recipe many times. Once I've put the chicken and the potatoes in, I've added some yogurt. Covered it with enough water for it to cook in for around 30 minutes. So cover that up. And then I was draining out the rice. This colander's from Poundland, by the way, in case you've ever wondered. Love it. It's just so useful, mashallah. I'm sure you can probably find something similar from Amazon and I've not seen it in Poundland since and I bought it a few years ago. I prayed my Maghrib prayer or evening prayer and then dinner was ready. Akia prepared a bit of salad.
then I gave the little kids a bath and they went to sleep and then when they were sleeping I had a bit more time to finish off the kitchen at this point I couldn't be bothered so the options were do I come down the next day and uh, finish off uh, what I'm doing with the kids hanging around and making it that much more difficult or do I soldier on and just finish it off that night so alhamdulillah I just soldiered on and uh, managed to get it done that night and I finished around I think midnight well after my shower and by the time I'd made my tea it was around midnight I think so I was just cleaning and washing my cereal dispenser. The kids don't eat that much cereal at the moment, to be honest, but they still like to have it there once in a while. We've got a few dumping areas in the kitchen. The window sills, the little tray next to the sink, top of the microwave, that's my dumping ground. I always put papers, books on top of the microwave. <laughs> the only thing is I need to start clearing it more often than I do. And the surfaces are really disgusting, aren't they? Part of me is a little bit ashamed, but this is, this is reality, guys. I'm sorry, this is, this is how it is, you know? I don't get time to move everything around and, you know, clean every day. Look at that. Look at the toaster, the breadcrumbs on that. Didn't realise how full it was. <laughs> Clearly we like our toast. Uh, inshallah, I can keep on top of it a bit. That toaster is really difficult to clean. Do forgive me for how messy it looks. It's a really weird texture. I used to have a kettle with the same material and it also was difficult to clean. But yeah, I try my best my best <laughs> I also need a new digital like kitchen scale there's a bit of sticker on the front just to keep it together <laughs> if you want to see imperfection just come to me guys if you want to feel better about yourselves watch my videos don't watch the perfect people on Instagram come to my videos loves you'll feel so much better about yourselves <laughs> So yeah, I was just wiping everything down, cleaning the cooker, making sure it's all nice and clean and fresh, as much as it can be. Our appliances and stuff actually, they're quite old now, like seven years maybe. Oh, time flies, doesn't it, when you're having fun? Uh, so I'm wondering when we're gonna replace them. Like they could do with being replaced, but at the same time, do we wanna waste money? We got our gas bill this morning for the month, 260 pounds. I was shocked. I mean, I know it's gone up, before the cost of living crisis, our gas bill used to be around £50. No joke, last month's gas bill was £200. This month I thought oh, it's going to be a little bit less because last month it was really freezing. I thought this month it's going to be a little bit better. No, £260. Have you heard me mourning about the gas? How old am I? 80. But anyway, I feel like I am. It's going to age me anyway. All the cleaning was done. I was so pleased, alhamdulillah. This was like the best feeling when I'm putting some lovely flowers in a vase. And they look so pretty, don't they, mashallah? And there we go, there's the finished product, guys. Are we impressed, mashallah? As nice and beautiful as it's going to be really the surfaces are nice and clean a little bit worn down but clean i had my shower i ran the washing machine uh, had a full load of washing to do got a towel on my head literally and i'm just saying salam to you i really hope you enjoyed this video jazakallah thank you so much for watching inshallah I'll see you really soon take care salam bye